Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I'll be taking a look at CreateLED Print latest version. Let's scratch to this topic. On CreateLED Print, they have a new version out. It's version 5.1.7. And then there's like a whole bunch of number after that. But let's take a look into what they have added to CreateLED Print version 5.1.7 and see if there's improvement or just like hot fixes and stuff like that. So let's take a look. Okay, we are not in CreateLED Cloud and this is CreateLED Print and the newest version right here, 5.1.7. It has been released quite a while ago, but have not really had the time to check this out. So let's take a look at this right now. Number one, improve the issue where sequential printing was ineffective. Okay, nice. I was trying to do the sequential printing, but I don't know, it wasn't really working, but hopefully this works. Enhance the handling of G-code pause to prevent later switching confusion. So maybe sometimes this G-code pause will act like a, you know, a layer switch or like a filament switch and then it skips a layer. Optimize the functional LED for uploading slice model to local network on Linux. Nice that they are working on Linux. So all you Linux people out there, this is your update. Improve the one-click print feature on Linux, ensuring the device starts printing after model slicing and transmission. More stuff on Linux side, which is always good. Number five, enhance the purge volume logic to set a default purge value when the internal cavity volume is zero. Ensure purge value exists between multiple colors. Maybe if you put your volume to zero, it will reset and have a default purge value so that it can purge the amount of filament and get ready for the next color. Number six, improve the z-axis color switching mechanism to address errors. Okay, okay, more errors addressing. Nice. Optimize the import process for 3MF files, ensuring material spool information is retained after switching models machine models so maybe if you import 3mf file into your slicer and you print with that all of your material spool information color change to the new one so it's good that it's not retaining after you even if you switch the machine model number eight address and improve various user report issues nice it's good that creative is listening to the users and we and fixing the errors that users are facing is always good more if you fix the user's error they will come back and they will keep using your product, which is always nice. Okay, as you saw there, Creality update, Creality print, and add a couple of things and fix things that are like in broken and fixes things in the slicer. So before this update, I was trying to do some sequential printing. And when I select that options, I could not get it to print. I was like, is this even working or is it my model too big, too small, the height range, but I'm just using the model. Why is it not working? So. I guess that was like a problem and now they address that. They are now supporting more stuff of Linux, adding more things to Linux user, which is always good. A broader audience, supporting more audience is always good. Also enhancing the purging volume logic is always good. The purging is like one of the most key feature in multicolor 3D printing. If you purge a little bit, let's say you go from red to white and then you purge only a little bit, you will still have the mixture of red and white. It's kind of like pinkish color and the appearance. And you can see that there's like a layer of pink in there, which is very bad. And yeah, there's more things on improvement, but I feel like those are like the most important part of this whole update. But everything is always important. Fixing a slicer is always good. Fixing firmware update on a 3D printer is always good on any 3D printers out there. It's good to have all these frequent updates and stuff like that. We, the users, can have a better experience of using the software, the product, and overall, it's just like a better experience for all of us. Let me know in the comments down below what is your key take on this new update of Creality Print version 5.1.7. Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel because more amazing stuff is coming, and I got some amazing videos planned this coming 2025 and yeah subscribe to the channel that'll be it for this video thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing but before you leave if you are in need of lithium ion batteries check out my store right here it's scratch3d battery store you can choose from various type of connectors t plug with a balanced charger or just a simple JST SM plug or if you need XT60 or XT30 it's also available with a balanced charger you can choose from various type of battery pack and connectors that suits your needs so once again if you need high quality lithium ion battery pack check out my store scratch3d battery.store there will be a link in the description down below and thank you so much